Good morning, Vietnam. It's your host, Yonkonomics. I'm back with a uh, with a pretty awesome video here. Been kind of holding on to this video clip for at least a little while here. Uh, the reason I'm doing so is it's a little bit of a shorter one. It's a good game. It's got some. It's got one of my really good friends in here, Legendary underscore V19. And really wanted to highlight this game because it was an overall just good game. But um, <laughs> but we're not going to be talking about the game too much in this commentary. We're going to be talking about an issue that has uh, come up and has been an issue pretty much for like the last couple of years in playing this game, and that is, well, let him peek. I guess now it's a popular thing to be shitting on let him peek because of his negativity and because of the animosity he brings towards wargaming and this game in general. Now again, I'll be the first to say I'm not always the most positive person when it comes to speaking about wargaming. You know, I, people have asked me about this next update coming up here, and I... I don't think much of this update. I don't think it's that great, and but that's just my opinion, and I just keep it kind of humble. If someone asks me about it, hey, I'll tell you what I think. But if someone doesn't ask me, I don't make clickbait videos. I don't do bullshit like that, and I certainly don't try to jerk people's emotional chains around just to get views and make money off people's back. Oh, okay. Yep, guess we know who we're talking about now, don't we? Yeah, that's let them peek. Guys, a year and a half ago, I ended up getting into a game with Spartan Elite, and I am in my Shimakaze, and he's in his Iowa. And I had gotten sick of the negativity, and I just went on an epic rant one day and, and ended up getting 10,000 views in the span of like a week on a video just because I was pissed off at Spartan. Now, I will say that Spartan went on a rant, but we cleared it up almost immediately. Like, we within the next day, Spartan and I cleared everything up. It was okay, no harm, no foul. But it was a couple weeks later that I get a random message from Let Him Peak, who at the time was Spartan's boy. He was putting together his own channel off of Spartan's channel and kind of piggyback on the, on, on the fact that Spartan wasn't doing a whole lot of live streaming. He was doing live streaming, but not a lot of it. But Let Him Peak kind of saw that value in that. And I, and I understand that and I respect that. You know, if there's a niche to be had, there's a niche to be had. So with that being said, I get this random message from Let Him Peak saying, hey, my boys looked into some of the comments you made on, on Spartan's channel about how you how bad news sells and, and stuff like that. And it's like, it looks, it looks bad. It looks like you tried to farm Spartan for subscribers. Motherfucker, me farm, subs far me farm subscribers from Spartan? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Your whole fucking channel is based off Spartan Shadow. And the best part about it, actually not the best part, the worst part about it, is you go on a drunken, epic rant at the, for the last two hours of one of your live streams talking about how he's fucked up because he's transgender and talking about how he's fucked up because he says weird stuff to you. You you, you, bait, you built a channel. You have 8,100 subscribers as of, as of the moment that I make this video. And then you shit on the guy that helps you make that. You shit on the guy that basically gives you that. I don't understand that. And I never will understand that. Oh, and if anybody wants to come in here saying... saying Shit, shit on him, referring to Spartan Elite. I've already asked Spartan Elite what he, what he wants as a proper pronouns. And, quote unquote, I don't give a shit. That's what, that's what was told to me. So, don't go there, okay? I've been nothing but respectful towards everybody that comes to my channel, regardless of your background. I don't care if you like men. I don't care if you like women. I don't care if you like both. I don't care if you want to dress up as a fucking, as an animal. I don't care if you want to shit in a litter box. I don't care if you think you're something... Else, I, I don't care. All I all I expect from people when they come to my channel is just to treat others with respect. That's it. That's all I've ever asked of my community. So, with that being said, to watch this clown go off on this rant about how fucked up Spartan Elite is, I thought that was pretty fucked up. I thought that I thought that was everything that I had everything that I had already thought about Peak just was fucking put there. It was put right there on the internet for everybody to see. Now, hey, great, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over here with, you know, 1,600 subscribers, and you're over there with 8,100 subscribers. You know what? I don't care, man. I, I don't care. Because I know a lot of the people that watch your channel, they come over here, too, and they have a good time when they come over here. Why? Because it's chill as fuck. We have a good time. I'm competitive, sure, but I sure as hell don't shit on everybody that comes to my channel, and I sure as hell don't shit on everybody that I division with. And I sure as shit don't help, don't, don't fuck with people that help build my channel that help it grow, okay? This channel is nothing without the people that watch it, and it will be nothing without the people that watch it.
but to sit there and make disparaging remarks about every other streamer on the, on in YouTube about how, well, as soon as their, as soon as as soon as Warships dies, quote unquote, as soon as Warships dies, a lot of these other channels are going to die too. I was there, man. I heard I heard what you had to say about that. That's fucked up. You think you think you're God's gift of wargaming, like. When they removed you as a CC, which was long overdue, which actually should have never even fucking happened to begin with, you're sitting there and you're going, "Oh, well, nobody else exists in this game. Don't don't punish me. You're you're punishing my community and, and making fucking videos like that. And and then then you got to resort to clickbait videos. And now your most recent one here, you're pissed off about the fact that wargaming isn't giving you exactly what you want for the next update. And you're gonna go say, "Hey, let's go boycott this." Motherfucker, you ain't gonna boycott shit. You know why? Because I know you too well. You make money from this channel. You make money from this game. You're not gonna stop playing this game. You're not gonna boycott this thing. Who are you kidding? You make money off of people from playing this game. So don't sit here and tell me that you're gonna boycott shit, because you're not. You're not going to. <laughs> what a joke, man. Ay, ay, ay. You know, and here we are, like I said, I'm over here just hanging out. I tried to avoid the drama wherever I can, but you know, drama finds me, and uh, it's kind of funny now because now I'm seeing other people having issues with Let Him Peek, and kind of gives me a little bit of a purpose here with this one. I don't like the guy. I know I know a lot of people that don't like the fucking guy. If you watch his channel, fine. I don't care. You watch whoever you want. It's a free country. I'm just not going to sit here and listen to a guy shit all over everybody and everything that has helped his channel grow and then shit on the company that fucking makes the game that allows him to make money off of people from from youtube so with that being said man the toxicity that surrounds him the toxicity that surrounds his channel i am actually pretty shocked that people still watch him and i am pretty shocked that people actually find find him entertaining I, I i think he's just ass cancer straight up that so that's that's the title right there let him peak as a cancer because that's what he is and peak i know you're gonna watch this shit i know you will at some point just know that this didn't have to happen this could have totally been avoided i freaking was i was nothing but nice to you you know when, whenever I, whenever i was getting into the shit i was like hey you know what can i do can you give me some advice you don't want to give me advice why because you saw me as a threat it's the same thing you do to everybody else. You see them as a threat, and then you go, yeah, fuck that. I'm not going to help people out. Why? Because they're going to take money out of my pocket when they get monetized or when they get a super chat that should have went to me that went to somebody else. Just know that we see through your bullshit. You're nothing but a high school bully. You never left high school, to tell you the truth. You know, the, the comment you made the comment you made when uh, not Cerberus was made that made that post on the community page and you're like oh sweet layup bro <laughs> what you're it, it tells me you're still in high school man you never left it you need to grow up and mature a little bit hit the real world for a change do something with your life i mean fuck bro i'm 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 over here doing my own thing and that's fine like i said you can you can send your hate over you guys can make your troll accounts hell you've been doing it for the last year and a half make disparaging remarks about me or my family it's happened and i know you've done it that's why i fucking made made the comment that i did to prince flip about it i know you fucking came over here and i know you sent people over here with burner accounts to make disparaging remarks about me and my family the fact of the matter is i have a family and i care more about them than anything in the world i care more about them than this fucking game i care more about them than anybody else in the world so at the end of the day i'll just keep blocking your shit I'll keep doing whatever I got to do to make sure that uh, the right things are done. So, with that being said, guys, that's my little peak story. I my hats off to uh, my hats off to beautiful Muse out there. Uh, that was a hell of a thing that uh, that she did. Uh, just just a hell of a thing. Great video. I don't I don't think I said fuck near as much as she did, but uh, you know it's still pretty funny to listen to that rant. I could I could listen to that over and over again. And you know, same thing with Doctor Ghost Games. I'm gonna leave a link to the to their videos in the in the in the chat here or in the uh, in the subtitle, so that you guys can go over there and take a look at it. But uh, yeah, going on, going on that rant, saying what needed to be said about somebody who's completely toxic in this game, someone that openly says, "Hey, boycott the game," but we all know is complete hypocrisy. It's it's not gonna happen. He's not gonna boycott the game. He makes money off you guys. He makes money off you people that super chat him. Simple as that. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna boycott anything. 
So Dr. Ghost Games made a nice little video. He didn't have to say a whole lot disparaging. I mean, he said he said a little bit, but you know, he said it, you know, it's wargaming, man. We all bitch about it and it, it's it sometimes feels like people don't listen, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Guys, guys and gals out there that watch the channel, I appreciate it. I I I'm, I play this game. I love this game. I love the community. I love the people that come to the channel and we can have a good time and chat about this sort of shit. Until the next time, guys, I'm still here. I'm still going to be playing this game. I'm not boycotting anything, and I enjoy everybody's company. You guys have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. We'll see you on the next episode or on the next live stream. Peace.